We're looking here at a scan of a drawing that originates from a notebook that was worked on back in 1880. Unfortunately, the notebook contains a lot of those age-related spots and that horrible browning that you will see in old paper. So let's have a look at how we can use one technique to try and minimize that horrible browning of that paper in our scanned result. First of all, let's start with the background and create from that background layer a duplicate layer by pressing Command J on the Mac or Control J on a Windows machine. We'll now work not on the original background, but we'll work on that background copy. And we'll name that Edit Copy so we know that's the one we're working on. Select that particular layer that you want to apply some adjustments to. We're going to be using the levels adjustments as a technique that we can use to try and minimize the appearance of those dark spots. In the adjustments panel, which you can make appear by choosing adjustments from the window menu, click on the levels icon. This will immediately add the adjustment layer in your layers panel and you will also see that the properties panel opens up. This panel displays the levels adjustments that you can make. So we can change the contrast. We can also change the brightness. And you can see that the brightness adjustment is probably something we'll be working on to try and get rid of those spots. But unfortunately, a global brightness adjustment will cause the pencil part of the drawing also to get a lot brighter and that's not something that we want to do. Let's reset this and have a look at another technique we can use. As part of an adjustment layer we're always given a layer mask. This layer mask is currently empty and that means that whatever levels adjustment I apply will apply to the entire image. So what I would like to do is only isolate those areas in the image that I want to apply this adjustment to. And we can do that with this mask. In the properties panel, if we click on the mask icon next to the levels icon, we can actually work on this mask. Currently, it's just a blank mask. We've got nothing, no areas selected within the image. But if we click on color range, you're able to pick up different tonal ranges and isolate those colors and only apply any levels adjustments that you want to apply to those isolated colors. So I'm going to start by grabbing that eyedropper tool and clicking on some of the darker spots in this image. Using the fuzziness slider, I can increase the amount of the browning and the brown spots that I'm applying this to. I can always redo this because I'm not actually killing any pixels as I'm going through this. So let's have a look, click OK. Now just to make sure that when I apply a levels adjustment, the transition between areas that are part of the mask, that are masked away with the black coloring and that are not masked with the white coloring, I'm going to feather the edges of this mask a little bit. It's a little bit like feathering edges of a selection and really think of a mask as a selection. Let's jump back to the levels and now see what happens if we increase that brightness. Move the slider to the left and you can immediately see how that's starting to remove some of those dark spots. If you go too far you will also see that Things are going a little bit crazy, so try and get the color to blend in with the surrounding color. Might just make it a little bit lighter. And I'm happy with that. But I also want to 
select sort of the faded orangey browny parts and apply another levels adjustment. Now before I start selecting that and before I start creating another levels adjustment, we'll select the copy layer and then initial levels adjustment and from the panel menu choose merge layers. What that will do, that will combine those layers into a single layer. You can also choose to select those two layers and turn that into a smart object if you want to. That way you can drill back down into all those adjustments that you've made. Let's apply another levels adjustment and use the same technique once more. Click on the mask, click on color range. Let's go for the more general brown area. Bring that down, try not to get too much of the pencil drawing in there. Click OK. Maybe smidge enough feathering. We can always switch that off later on. Go back to the levels and just increase that brightness a bit. Now you might see that there is a little bit of discolorization in some areas of the image. You can always apply another levels adjustment using the same technique and then instead of working on the red, green and blue channels combined for your image, choose to work on individual color channels and make adjustments to get rid of that little discolorization in there. So there you have it. Let's do one more merge layers and we can kind of see the before and the after result. So we haven't lost any of that pencil drawing, it's still there. So if you've got some old documents, enjoy applying this particular technique to get rid of those age-related spots and that browning in the paper that you might experience.